team is uh, uh, not that big. Our office is situated, our headquarters is in St. Petersburg, in one of the historic buildings of the city, the Zinger House. And you can see it in the picture. Uh, probably you saw it during your tour of the city. And in this building, uh, there is a team working on uh, one of the most popular sites globally, six designers and several dozens of uh, uh, developers. So there are not many people in the team. We think that uh, having a small team but a coherent team is capable of uh, uh, developing a good product and developing the most successful social network in Russia. In 2008, we we launched a platform for third-party developers, and by doing that, we initiated the development, the growth of social games in our region. Uh, today, our platform includes various gaming projects of various genres from many developers and publishers. This summer we launched our HTML5 platform for mobile devices. This technology allows developing simple games, uh, yet full format applications that um, uh, do not actually, are not inferior in anything to, uh, to uh, web, to desktop applications and games, and they are also not inferior to installed games. VK has always been popular for its offers. Our offers have always been with the audience. They share their news from their lives. They uh, share their impressions and uh, their creative successes, uh, success stories. And actually, these success stories were partly due to their work at 4VK. Uh, they communicate with the audience, they communicate with subscribers, and they are offers uh, from various backgrounds, uh, including uh, game journalists, uh, sportsmen, athletes, uh, uh, delivering their speeches at international arena, uh, commentators, and also bloggers. Uh, VK has about 30 million different communities and games uh, is one of the most interesting subjects for our audience. Uh, we have in the community uh, IGM and fan communities, cyber sport organizations, thematic editions, thematic um, newspapers. VK also has uh, many communities of gaming brands. Uh, Ubisoft, uh, Electronic Arts, and all uh, um, all gaming platforms, Blizzards, Blizzards, etc. Communities are the single point of uh, brand presence on social networks. So they can include any content, including music, videos, documents. Uh, communities can also play the role of a channel for working with feedback and uh, reviews. To track success, it is also possible to view uh, extended statistics through communities. I will tell you more about the features of our communities, which you might not know about, or you might just oversee them, uh, considering the many new things that we have been offering in the recent years. Now, community messages is a tool that helps uh, communicate with customers on behalf of a brand, creating and set up dedicated accounts. Uh, you need to do that. Uh, you need to um, set up uh, separate accounts to provide support to your users or games or gamers. Uh, you can access the entire history of uh, communication in one place. You can uh, uh, download, uh, you can access the user's profile, understand his preferences and his uh, lifestyles, and you can tailor your approach to him. You can personalize support for him. The communities also provide the functionality of attaching documents, audios, videos and the majority of attachments that are possible for the website. In uh, this example, there is a streamer 
writing in the gaming community that he is not able to launch uh, streaming at VK and there is a reply from the administrator in the form of a document which includes an instruction, a guideline on how to set up a streaming session at VK. Communities uh, provide a free API uh, which helps you integrate to uh, the communities to the existing CRM systems. This summer we introduced uh, a, a mobile app uh, which is called VK Admin for iOS and Android. This app enables us to reply questions of users as soon as possible using your mobile devices in your hand. Products. Uh, products help us to uh, develop your services and products can be accessed uh, from any communities. They have a modern interface which helps you uh, virtualize and uh, decorate your uh, shop window and uh, offer it from the main page of the community. Uh, it can uh, have uh, the entire information about the uh, seller and the buyer. And also there is a free API interface that helps you in synchronize the shop window uh, from uh, VK to the existing, to the brick and mortar shop. There are also communities uh, that offer cross-platform cross uh, apps. Uh, these are the new versions of the app uh, which has been existing from 2008. They are being launched on mobiles and as well as desktops. Uh, their function is to raise the functionality, to improve the functionality of communities and give users an opportunity to have some additional uh, functionality to contact, uh, to set up a contact with the brand. Uh, such apps are possible and can be uh, accessed from the main page inside the community. Uh, communities can develop their own apps or use the apps that are already available from other developers. Uh, these are the universal, universal format apps, uh, for example, mail lists. Uh, a user can use such an app uh, select uh, a category and subscribe to interesting subjects and receive uh, receive news items on that subject after the, after that questionnaires uh, community admins uh, can uh, um, perform surveys of users uh, collect feedback uh, convene users uh, for testing and attract new users as well they can perform entertainment, testing for interactive communication, communication with the audience, uh, ticketing services, and some other interesting and universal apps are available. They can be accessed from the administration panel from, of communities at VK. If a community wants to have its own app, there is a possibility to develop it, to develop anything, for example, a full-blown a promotional site inside the social network. It can be uh, similar to um, advertising hosts that are quite popular and widespread in other social networks. So the key difference is that they uh, are available from, uh, from the mobile app and also from the desktop. It's no secret that video is one of the most efficient ways to communicate with the audience automatic playing of uh, native uh, clips at VK uh, can be a very good way to attract the audience and raise the coverage. Live videos at VK is a new tool in the framework of our platform and it helps us uh, communicate with uh, the audience in real time. You can uh, show your screen, uh, uh, also uh, uh, stream uh, live events uh, in, and conferences. Uh, uh, it is also it is available from mobile devices. Uh, you can arrange uh, round-the-clock broadcasts and do many other things. For gaming live videos, uh, we have a raw version of 
a catalog which includes uh, different streams from different authors. Um, so this uh, category includes uh, the games that have been chosen by authors as games in the uh, setting. And in the future, we want to have more games available through this tool. Uh, all live streamings are available randomly at the moment, but in future, we want to improve this mechanism and we want to rate them by popularity we want to use the social graph um, sampling and selection and do other uh, and that other functionality we also want to have uh, some uh, types of games and some uh, categories inside the tool to uh, select the games for users Stories uh, is a modern format uh, which is available and it actually is available to uh, many devices including Xerox. It's a way uh, to share impressions, to share photos and short videos right in real time to be able to tell something important um, to users about the brand. So each story uh, is only visible within 24 hours and offers can watch the views of every story they publish. Currently, uh, publishing stories uh, is in the stage of the closed testing and uh, we organize them for content-based communities, um, gaming communities, uh, cyber sport, media and others. If you're interested in that, uh, you can uh, send me an email or you can contact me at VK and we can discuss uh, your contribution in this test. Music at VK, audio files have been launched, uh, were launched uh, long ago when we launched the platform. Uh, users got the opportunity to upload music and share this music with their friends. They. Um, could access multi-million communities related to music and just recently we have uh, uh, relaunched our music uh, platform. We redesigned it, uh, we refined the design, we made it more convenient uh, for mobile platforms and for desktops as well and since then uh, copywriters, copyright holders can publish their music legally. It was the result of uh, signing a contract, signing contracts with the majority of uh, music labels. They can legally publish music, but they can also monetize these tracks. They can monetize the tracks that were also downloaded and uploaded by users previously. How to promote your brand at VK? A few words about that. It's no secret for anybody that uh, there is uh, targeted advertising. It's an opportunity, it's a possibility to target advertising messages for users uh, tailor, tailored to their preferences and uh, interested, interesting to users that are actually, uh, that actually prefer these products and want to have such a product. We have many possibilities uh, to select the audience which you want to have and to show your ads to this particular audience. Uh, we have uh, various formats of advertising. The first format is image and text. Uh, in the left menu or in the, of the site, it can be a big image. A big text uh, can also be community promotion uh, with an instant uh, subscription from uh, subscription possibility from the ad. For a long time, for a long time, we have been developing the ad post uh, in the news feed. It's a possibility to cover uh, more than ninety percent of uh, users both uh, on desktop and mobile in the RU net. It can be a universal post involving various formats. It can also be concealed uh, post or post with CTA button. Uh, these buttons can uh, raise conversion rate. 
And just recently, we launched the carousel format, uh, which enables us to sell products with better efficiency and tell more uh, and in a more detailed ma manner about your product and your advantages. To advertise on VK, uh, it's not necessary to have an active community. You don't need an active community for that. You don't need to pay budgets to SMM teams. You can set up a visit, uh, visit card, a uh, business card community. You can upload your avatar and, um, and add a brief description for users to be able to access your ad and get, uh, get um, uh, some information on your brand, some brief information on your brand. We welcome such formats as well. But of course, it's more efficient for you to uh, develop your SMM uh, capability. And there are some exceptions. For example, the Apple community, uh, which uh, hasn't ha had a single post within one month, uh, managed to gather more than 100,000 users, subscribers. Uh, but of course, uh, uh, the majority of us are not Apple. Some special projects are also available, and uh, I will tell you more about them. They can be related to gaming uh, subjects or gaming communities. Uh, a few examples. The K Live show has been running for a year and a half, which is a series of uh, episodes produced by VK team uh, on various subjects. About 100 different episodes are already available. These are concerts of popular performers uh, from Subway. Yagor Creed was, with one, was one of the performers uh, who performed on a, on a subway, on a Moscow subway, inside uh, a train. It was uh, all live on VK and gathered a lot of attention and got a lot, a lot of media coverage. We also uh, put live uh, performances by different uh, singers and also some gaming shows, uh, sports shows. In this screenshot, uh, you see the live video from, uh, from the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Tournament. It's the Epicenter team performing an interview on this screen. Brands and communities offer functionality for gaming gaming uh, gaming companies it is possible to set up collaborations and partnerships with different brands it is also possible to organize the dedicated projects for example DTF uh, gaming newspaper gaming uh, media organize uh, a live show uh, with the support of LG uh, promoting their product so it's a, an example of a, uh, collaboration. Ubisoft, the publisher of uh, the Game Dance app, they collaborate with uh, dance performers to promote their products live. And now about our special products. Let's talk about integration. First of all, it's a gift. I'm sure you all know what a gift is. It's a virtual postcard that you can send to any user of the social network. The gifts are sent to celebrate or express some sort of sweet feelings. And the gifts can be sent whether just like they are or accompanied by some text. We can do static gifts or animated gifts that get launched whenever the uh, recipient gets them. And there's various constructors of gifts. That's our integration with Nescafe, our special project. First, the user chose the, the form of the gift. Then they chose the title above the gift. So instead of one branded present, you gotta ha get a whole variety of them. 
that the users eagerly send to their friends. Plus you can link them to live streams. First option is when a user has seen something or still is watching something, you can send them a thematic gift for free. In this case, it was a chance to send a trophy of Boston Major on Dota 2. And for watching the broadcast for a certain period of time, you can gift things on the behalf of the community to award the viewer for watching the stream. You can collaborate, link the gifts with the community apps. This spring, during the Kiev Major, we'll launch the community app with tests where the users would answer questions about Kiev, about Dota, about cyber sports st scene of Dota, and if many questions were answered correctly, the community awarded free set of stickers on Dota 2. Here's the questions, where is the key of office of Kontakte? At the time, that was the right answer. Right now, unfortunately, there is no right answer. So this is how that gift would look for the, for the right answers. We also had special projects with the Great Wall movie with Matt Damon when the catalog of gifts had a special page on Great Wall and had those these gifts. And when users sent them to their friends, they would uh, accumulate force to either of the sides represented by gifts. Of course, um, the, 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 peop the people side won, and as part of this project, we launched promo for the community where up on the top, we counted the number of gifts sent for this or that side, and the wall would either get destroyed or be built again, and ultimately the wall has built itself up. And also up on the page we saw the trailer with a lot of a lot of views and information on the movie. Now the format the stickers, the graphic images that lets you render your emotions. It's a logical continuation of smiles, but it's just more colorful. Out of the game stickers, the first one we have Timo stickers that we that we created during the first year of stickers. While well, we're still connected to the right games team. There's all the tank stickers. First the first set as a war phase stickers. Then we get our own from VK Gaming. Then during the trip uh, to Kiev, I talked to Nato Svincer and we decided to build a cool set of stickers for Nato Svincer. And back then we, were, we agreed, agreed on, on the same thing with Vitas Pro. And in two day period, we first released the Navi, then the Vitas Pro. And Vitas Pro were playing at the Boston Major at the time and the fans of the teams actively supported them during the during the live feeds. And during the key of major we released a huge sticker set on Dota two. And they get them for passing tests on Dota and for watching the feed as well. There's an interesting Nescafe case, one in the gift catalog we got this very cute picture uh, with the raccoon and the mug. And whenever they exchanged the toys, 
they get they get an sort of a friendly communication and then they receive this this pack below that they you know that this friendship now so they can exchange cool stickers that's the Burger King case when they would write into the community and, and the community would ask do, do you want to get chickened a little bit and when when they got a chance they, they, they were tasked of sending a selfie to get with their package of the new product in front of their face and then the chatbot would define that this is their product on the picture and after that give them all the stickers so the user can use them same idea as Sprite when users were supposed to guess what's the combination of the emoji uh, is this or that sticker and whenever they guessed right they get the sticker and this way they're able to open one after another the whole set of stickers Our favorite example is the an annual New Year project with Coca-Cola. This year, Coke launched a set in few parts. The first was accessible to all of the participants of the Coca-Cola community. Whenever they, however, whenever the user would write into the community, they would ask him if they want to receive the rest of the stickers. If they agree, they get a task. The task was to send a photograph with a Coca-Cola can or bottle, and then Santa Claus would define if this is a Coca-Cola picture or not. And then once that is was completed, Santa gave you the second part of the pack. But even that wasn't the end. And to get the third part of the set, you had to send a celebratory greeting, have to put down their name, and then the boat would establish if that's the if that's the user you wanted to congratulate, and then <coughs> then a video would get generated out of nearly 500 <coughs> recorded na uh, recorded videos with different names and you could send this postcard with the name here Dima Bilan congratulated my friend Oleg showing the can with his name or bottle or whatever it is so to complete that you'd get a third last sticker bit another example is voting in the Nescafe community for those host cooler humanities uh, or science pros there was a, there was actually a broadcast with two Russian television celebrities playing for both of the teams and during the broadcast users voted for this at the side the science majors used uh, they won so Whenever, whenever you made your choice, you'd get a set of stickers. Uh, you couldn't vote twi twice. So the users got whatever they chose in the first place. Also to promote the story tool, we launched our own about the Red Fox that appeared in the news feed and wanted users to publish stories and then the red fox would get to your messages and give you tasks so that the so that the people by completing tasks would get more stickers from the red fox set like you make a selfie put in the stories and then the chatbot would 
check if it's a selfie then and if so then it'll give you a sticker with the red fox and the face He'd be coming around every day to take pictures with friends, with the landscape, with this, and 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 when nearly all users got all stickers, we buried the fox. It completed its task and helped us promote tools of stories. So now that a lot of people use stories. Now we added masks to stories. It's 2D and 3D illustrations and animation that are now applied to the face in real time. Also, we launched an open platform for this so anyone can create their own mask following a fairly simple instruction and then send to us to moderate. And then afterwards, we place them in the masks section unless it of course violates some copyrights before the final stage of League of Legends we launched four masks based on the four teams of the participants Gambit the Sports M19 Team Chest and Virtus Pro the masks were wearable and seen by subscribers of the t of the team communities Also, September 10th in Minsk, we had the Tank Man's Day that Wargaming re um, put together. So we we launched a mask with a Tank Man's hat that was viewed only in Minsk and accessible only in the Park Pabedi. And if the user at the time wasn't in the park but was in the stories and saw the mask with the helmet and tried to try it on, they would get a, a message that if you want to try it on, come to Victory Park and you'll be able to to show that you're the tank man, part of the Tankman group. And by pressing, by push, learn more, they would go on to the description of this. Here is KFC launching a sticker set that would open if the user publishes a story with a branded mask of KFC. And as soon as they done it, the community would give them the full set of stickers. and a bit more about the application of the community and what can you do. And these are the, the application that lets you get the stats, uh, the games, all the tournament, find out the extended information about players, about teams, watch the details of the game and on the main side the main page of the site get the interactive widget of the community where another schedule would be released and the the future games and the results of the games past when broadcast would happen there was a live sign and if you press on that you could get the live feed of that game it was accessible in both desktop and mobile clients and those interactive widgets are now accessible in closed mode but soon we're gonna publicly release them and anyone would be able to create those interactive widgets for all sorts of patterns creating different showcases, charts, schedules and so on. Uh, he, we have huge API that allows us to create, you know, lots of things as a part of social network. Here is the example of Right Games entertaining the audience before the grand 
grand final of the Continental League for League of Legends. They generated theme profile picks that were created as the user made a choice for this or that side. And on the cover of the community in real time, you could see the results of the vote. And the cover kept getting renewed. Now, this is not a typical example of uh, using our API, the Electronic Arts team, uh, together with uh, WNM Digital Agency. We're conducting uh, the VK Ultimate Team Cup. Uh, users could access a dedicated web page, uh, set up uh, his own uh, team, get, uh, get a name, involve uh, friends into the team. He could change uh, the uh, players inside the team, uh, change the positions. And the power of uh, the players depended on their activity, on the activity of uh, your friends inside the social networks, uh, and depending on the number of posts, the number of followers, uh, number of likes, and many other factors. All these factors uh, impacted the power of the players in the team. Uh, it's possible to organize uh, many different special projects using a, uh, our API, uh, using various sources of information, uh, developing interactive uh, wallpapers, and you can access uh, our API web page for developers. The address is in the slide. You can um, find all your uh, all information there and replies to your questions there. You also can write uh, me, uh, send me an email. I'm always available. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you have a specific question. Thank you, Alexander. Uh, do we have any questions to Alexander? Hi. Uh, for example, we have a new community which does not have any users, or uh, it's not yet uh, the community that, which is popular. So very, very few users are there. So what are the tools? What are the uh, methods of uh, uh, overcoming this initial barrier to, uh, to set up uh, the, organic, the organic story, the organic growth? Um, if you have only several hundred of users and you don't know what to do. So what can you do? You can target your uh, advertising, you can find your audience and advertise your community inside the network. You can tell them about the advantages of your game and uh, you can attract them. You can attract the first part of uh, users and then the organic growth will follow. Hi, thank you for your report, for your presentation. Uh, is there a stock exchange or a networking platform for targeting advertising? There is a networking s advertising stock exchange uh, where we can, uh, um, where there is an advertising network which helps you monetize uh, your content and with that you can integrate uh, your advertising inside the post, but it's uh, a different topic and very soon uh, there will be announcements about that online at VK and very soon we will tell you more publicly about this. Hi. Thank you. Can you advise, can you recommend some targeting services? What are the most, the most efficient as you think? For example, Cerebra is one of the targeting tools. Can you tell us more about it? In the advertising section we have, there is an authorized list of partners and systems. It's available there, and uh, there you have all real instruments and tools which you can use. You can select any of them and uh, use it without any risks, because they have been checked by us, and they are, they are very convenient, actually. 
Hi, thank you for your presentation. A simple question. Probably you could share us some more details on the functionality of your products. Um, is it possible to sell in-game uh, in-game products via VK? Currently, you can uh, post uh, you can post ads. If you are a copyright holder for these products, you can sell them. If you are not, uh, you always have a risk of a copyright holder attacking you and us, and this is not a good option. Um, but if you are a copyright holder, you can uh, uh, feature your products uh, and in-game products uh, on, on the shop window uh, at VK. We don't have possibility to process payments, so monetization is not available, processing is not available. But in future, we are planning to add this functionality. Uh, you can uh, launch sales um, probably through the external service or use the API to automate this process, of course. So in future, this uh, functionality will be uh, functioning, will be operating instantly. Any more questions? No further questions. Thank you, Alexander.